Hello everyone, this is Attorney Ayhan Akman, and today I'm in front of you for one of the latest developments that I would like to share with you. As of today, June 22nd, uh, on Monday, President Trump actually signed executive order where it's limiting the some uh, immigrant visas and also some non-immigrant worker visas applicants to be able to get those visas and to be able to come to the United States until end of the year. As everyone knows, uh, due to the COVID-19 crisis uh, starting this March of this year, so many Americans actually lost their jobs. Due to uh, high rates of unemployment, President Trump signed the initial executive order on April 22nd. And with that order, it actually limited people who were outside of the United States and who were the applicants to be able to get immigrant visas, actually. With that order, those people were not able to get the immigrant visas for 60 days. And 60 days was ending today. And as of today, that 60 days has been actually extended until end of the year. So with the current order, we can see that President Trump actually extended that 60 days for those immigrant visa applicants who are actually, uh, you know, consist of three categories, we could say. One of them were actually DV winners of the 2020 lottery, actually. Uh, and the second uh, category was the parents and siblings of U.S. citizen. And the third category was relatives of green card holders. So that initial executive order limited those people to be able to actually get the immigrant visa for 60 days. So with this current order, those people are now affected for additional time, uh, and which is going to be until end of the year. With this current uh, executive order, we see another actually type of limitations on non-immigrant worker visas. So, uh, and not only immigrant visas, but also some of the work visas also, applicants also being affected with this current order. And there are four actually type of uh, work visas being affected. First of them is H-1B work visas. H-1B visas are for foreign professionals who were coming to the United States to work for a, you know, for a, for a company for a position that requires actually someone with at least bachelor degree. With this order, uh, that H-1B applicants are not going to be able to get their H-1B visas from the U.S. consulates until end of the year. Also, their spouses and their kids who were coming with them or who were also going to come to join to them in the U.S., are not going to be able to get their visas until end of the year. Second uh, type of work visa is actually called H-2B visas. And H-2B visas is actually for seasonal workers to come to the U.S. to work for a company or a business for a seasonal uh, needs. Uh, so we see with this order, those seasonal jobs also uh, will seem that will be affected. And that's why this H-2B visa holders and also their families um, will not be able to get their visas until end of the year. And third work visa, it's affected with the current situation, is called L1 visas. And L1 visas are actually for foreign companies who has actually their, you know, any affiliation or their branch in the U.S. And they would like to send their employees for executive position uh, or for any specific, uh, you know, uh, needs from overseas to the U.S. So we see that L-1 visas also being affected with this order and L-1 visas applicants and their family members uh, cannot get their visas until end of the year. Lastly, we see the work visa being affected with this current order is actually J-1 visas. And J-1 visas actually has so many different uh, subcategories that allows them to get the visa, such as it's a work and travel program, such as or pair programs such as internship, training, and any positions as a researcher, you know, related in, at the universities. We see those J-1 visa holders are not going to be able to get their visas until end of the year. And also their family member not going to be able to get it until end of the year. So with this current order, we can see that at important, uh, four important actually work visas are being, you know, limited and suspended until end of the year for applicants to be able to get it. So there are a couple of things are important here to know. 
this order only applies to applicants and people who are outside of the U.S. and who does not have any visas on their passport. So who does not have actually immigrant visa to be able to come to the U.S. yet, who does not have H-1B or J-1 or L-1 or H-2B visas on their passport to come to the U.S. If they're outside the U.S. and they already have these visas, they're not going to be blocked to enter the U.S. because this order doesn't actually include them. So that's one point that I would like your followers to know. Secondly, this order is really affecting, uh, we can say, two categories. One of them, actually, DV winner of 2020. Uh, and those people were outside the U.S., the ones who, who have not got their immigrant visas yet, then they were waiting, actually, to, be, to, to get an appointment before end of the September to be able to not lose their chance of getting green card. And we see with this current order, all those DV winners who did not have actually their immigrant visa yet, they're not going to be able to get their visas actually for this year and they are losing their chance of getting it anyway. And second important, we see the people are being affected, J1 work and travel uh, students, especially they were going to be able to come for this summer and work, you know, during the summer and work program. Uh, and we see that they're not going to be able to come if they have not get their visa yet for this year. And another important thing here is this order will take effect starting actually June 24. And it will stay in place until end of the year. This is why I wanted to actually explain to our followers the details of President Trump's executive order that he signed today. As we can see from the uh, order that it's also going to be end of the year when it's approaching. Also, they will check again to see if they need to extend this order for additional time. So this is why I would like to explain to the details of the order to our followers. I hope that it helps you. And if there's any other uh, improvements or any other changes, we'll be sharing with you. And have a great day and talk to you soon.